Hello everybody and welcome to a new Roth questions and answers video. In the video of today we are going to be focusing on this uh, question here I found in Roth answers which says how to visualize inflation layer in RVs. Hi, to make some observation I want to visualize inflation layer in RVs. How can I do that? Like here it says. Thanks. And it puts here a link to an image so yeah, how to be able to visualize this, yeah, the inflation layer in RVs. So okay, let's see. Let's show how you can do this. So for that, let's go to RDS as always to the Ross Development Studio, and here we are going to create a new project by clicking here. Let's call it I don't know inflation. Uh, radius then test to visualize inflation in RVs okay there we are so we have created our new project here we have it and let's open it so let's open our project let's wait uh, a few seconds until the full environment is loaded so uh, meanwhile let's also open here uh, the the construct repo our repo and I'm going to select here I don't know let's for instance let's use the husky simulation here I have it husky Okay, then let's copy here the repo because we are going to clone it now to... Okay, this is this is finally loaded, so let's open here a new shell. First of all, we are going to clone our, our repository to have the simulation here. Of course, we are going to clone it into the simulation workspace, which is the one used to store the simulations. So let's clone our repo right here. Okay, there it is, and let's also compile this. And okay, so we are going to need, let's open an IDE in order to visualize all the files and everything in a graphical way. Here we have the IDE. We are going to also need a graphical tools window. So let's start opening it. In this case, I'm going to open it in a new, in a new window. So I think it's it's better to visualize it properly. There we have it. So let's close it here. Okay. It has compiled. And then finally, uh, let's yeah let's launch the simulation. Let's just start it to see if everything is fine. In my case, I'm going to select this uh, main.launch file in the Husky Navigation Launch Package. So I'm going to select this one and click on the launch button. This will start the Husky robot into a, a cafe room, into this cafe environment. There it is loading the simulation. So, okay, let's open another shell in order to launch our Vs. We are going to need it. Let's put it here. And yeah, so this is almost loaded, I think. Let's see. There it is. Great. Okay, so here I have mass simulation with the Husky robot. Here it is into this environment. Yeah, so now in order to visualize the inflation, the inflation layer, so how to visualize it. Okay, first of all, obviously, we need to start the move base node, the navigation environment, the navigation nodes, in this case, the move, ba move base nodes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start the move base uh, node using this ROS launch command. Husky navigation, move base, demo, dot launch. Okay, so let's start this. As you can see here, let's visualize this launch file. 
here in our simulation workspace inside the I have it here inside the Husky navigation package let's go to the launch folder yeah here I have my move base demo launch file yeah so basically this launch file what does is to load the map and then start the AMCL node and the move base node the move base node we have it here yeah with all the parameters it's loading all the parameter files for the cost maps the it's loading the the, pla the global planner local planner yes so okay yeah Basic basically this is what I'm doing here so now let's launch of course RVs which we will be able to visualize here in the graphical tools window I have opened before there we are okay so here we have our V's and now basically let's first add a robot model in order to visualize our Husky robot which is here okay there we have our Husky robot so yeah let's now add a map element we have it here let's add a map element and here we are going to select the topic. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And here we are going to select, for instance, the let's say the global cost map. There we are. And let's change this color scheme from map to cost map. There we are. Okay, so yeah, here we have it. Here we are visualizing the inflation layer yes there it is with the the map of the environment which is this one here and these two lines that appear here are the local the the local cost map which is being added to the to the global cost map yes but well yeah basically here you can visualize with these dark blue lines all the inflation that is being applied to the cost maps yes in this dark blue here if you remember from the picture he showed it he showed here yeah you can see it here so yeah it's quite simple to visualize the inflation ledger as you can see you just need to add a map element here into Ervis and that and then select the global cost map you can also of course select the local cost map if you want then you just get this yeah so let's in this case select the global cost map because it's 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 nicer to visualize it and then you can change here the color scheme to cost map in order to visualize it with these uh, blue colors yeah and so well yeah you can for instance if you want let's modify this layer we are going to make this dark blue smaller which is the inflation radius so let's close here let's come here to the to the ID to visualize our files and as you can see the the cost map that is being loaded in this case is this cost map global static yes because this no static map argument is set to false yeah so the parameter file that is being selected is this cosmap global static yum okay but basically uh, okay we, ha we have them here in the config folder so the cosmap global static as you can see it's using this inflation layer yeah and this this inflation layer can be basically set it here in the cosmap common parameter file yeah so in the parameters file for for the cost maps for both the global and the local yeah here is what where this inflation layer is defined so if you come here you will see here at the end this inflation uh, which is setting the inflation radius parameter to one so for instance let's set this to 0 0.5 to make it smaller let's say okay let's save the file and let's relaunch everything 
So let's launch again the move base node and let's start again our Vs. There we are. And let's just add again everything. Road model and the map. There we are. And you will see that now the, the inflation radius has modified, has been modified. Let's change this to cost map. And there you are. Okay, as you can see now, this dark blue uh, inflation that we had previously, which was much, much more wider, now it is uh, very tiny, yes? So you can also modify this uh, parameter by setting it here in the, in the Cosmap, Cosmap parameter file, in this inflation radius parameter, yes? So... So yeah, that's all. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple to visualize the inflation layer. And, and well, that's it. I hope this video has help, helped you. And well, if you have liked it, please uh, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, uh, post uh, a comment if you have any doubt, if you want to request any specific video, anything you want, uh, leave a comment and see you in the next video. Goodbye.